A notable feature of Turkish phonology is a system of vowel harmony that causes vowels in most words to be either front or back and either rounded or unrounded. Stop consonants have palatal allophones before front vowels and velar allophones before back vowels. Topic consonants in native Turkic words, the velar consonants k are palatalized to c, similar to Russian when adjacent to the front vowels e, i, o, y. Similarly, the consonant l is realized as a clear or light l next to front vowels, including word finally, and as a velarized next to the central and back vowels a, o, u. These alternations are not indicated orthographically. The same letters k, g, and l are used for both pronunciations. In foreign borrowings and proper nouns, however, these distinct realizations of k, l are contrastive. In particular, c and clear l are sometimes found in conjunction with the vowels a and u. This pronunciation can be indicated by adding a circumflex accent over the vowel, e.g. gavur infidel, makam condemned, lazim necessary, although the use of this diacritic has become increasingly archaic. An example of a minimal pair is car snow versus car with palatalized c profit. In addition, there is a debatable phoneme, called umuzak g soft g and written, which only occurs after a vowel. It is sometimes transcribed, or between back vowels, it may be silent or sound like a bilabial glide. Between front vowels, it is either silent or realized as j, e.g. dugan marriage, where the j is even mandatory in fast speech to distinguish it from done yesterday, depending on the preceding and following vowels. When not between vowels that is, word finally and before a consonant, it is generally realized as vowel length, lengthening the preceding vowel, or as a slight j if preceded by a front vowel. According to Zimmer and Organ 1999, who transcribe this sound as word finally and preconsonantally, it lengthens the preceding vowel. Between front vowels it is an approximant, either front velar or palatal j. Otherwise, intervocalic is phonetically zero deleted. Before the loss of this sound, Turkish did not allow vowel sequences in native words, and today the letter serves largely to indicate vowel length and vowel sequences where once occurred. The phonemes and f only occur in loanwords, phonetic notes, per meter, p, b, are bilabial, whereas, f, v, vary between bilabial and labiodental. Some speakers realize, f, as bilabial, when it occurs before the rounded vowels, y, u, o, o, as well as, although to a lesser extent, word finally after those rounded vowels. In other environments, it is labiodental, f. The main allophone of, v, is a voiced labiodental fricative, v. Between two vowels with at least one of them, usually the following one, being rounded, it is realized as a voiced bilabial approximant, b whereas before or after a rounded vowel but not between vowels, it is realized as a voiced bilabial fricative, beta. Some speakers have only one bilabial allophone, n, t, d, s, z, are dental, n, t, d, s, z, is velarized dental, is alveolar, whereas, l, is palatalized post-alveolar, l, is frequently devoiced word finally and before a voiceless consonant. According to one source, it is only realized as a modal tap, intervocalically. Word initially, a location, r, is restricted from occurring in native words, the constriction at the alveolar ridge narrows sufficiently to create frication but without making full contact, the same happens in word final position. And, l, are often also voiceless in the same environments word final and before voiceless consonants. Syllable initial, p, t, c, k, are usually aspirated. t, d, are affricates, not plosives. They have nevertheless been placed in the table in that manner to save space. Final, h, may be fronted to a voiceless velar fricative, x. It may be fronted even further after front vowels, then tending towards a voiceless palatal fricative, c, b, d, d, are devoiced to, p, t, t, K, C, word and morpheme finally, as well as before a consonant, ed me, to do, to make, is pronounced et mech. This is reflected in the orthography, so that it is spelled et mech. When a vowel is added to nouns ending with postvocalic, it is lenited to, see below. This is also reflected in the orthography. Topic: <laughs> Consonant assimilation. Because of assimilation, an initial voiced consonant of a suffix is devoiced when the word it is attached to ends in a voiceless consonant. For example, 
The locative of sev slope is sev on the slope, but sef chef has locative sef. The diminutive of ad name is adchik little name, but at horse has diminutive achik little horse. Topic: <laughs> Phonotactics. Turkish phonotactics are very simple and can be described as c v c c. Although Turkish words can take multiple final consonants, the possibilities are limited. Turkish only allows complex onsets in a few recent English, French and Italian loanwords, making them ccvc -c -c, such as franca, plan, program, propaganda, strategy, strays, sterile and tren. Even in these words, the complex onsets are only pronounced as such in very careful speech. Turkish syllabification in multisyllable words follows maximal coda rule, dividing syllables as ccv or vcv. Some loanwords add a vowel in front of them to break the complex onset, for example the French station was borrowed as istisayan to Turkish. All syllables have a nucleus. No diphthongs in the standard dialect, j, is always treated as a consonant. No word initial. No complex onsets except for the exceptions above. No, b, d, d. In coda, see final obstruent devoicing, except for some recent loanwords such as sakolog and five contrasting single syllable words, ad, name, versus at, horse, hack, hajj, versus hack, holy cross, id, city name, versus it, dog, kod, code, versus cot, jeans, odd, fire, versus oat, grass. In a complex coda, the first consonant is either a voiceless fricative, or, l. The second consonant must be a voiceless plosive. Two adjacent plosives and fricatives must share voicing, even when not in the same syllable, but, h, and, f, are exempt. <laughs> Vowels The vowels of the Turkish language are, in their alphabetical order, a, e, i, o, o diaresis, u, u diaresis. There are no diphthongs in Turkish and when two vowels come together, which only occurs in some loanwords, each vowel retains its individual sound, e.g. ale, a, i, la, lake, la, i, c, e, o, o, are phonetically mid, e, o, o stroke. For simplicity, this article omits the relative diacritic even in phonetic transcription. Most speakers lower e to a before the coda per meter n l r so that parent somersault is pronounced parendi. There are a limited number of words such as kendi self and hem both which are pronounced with a by some people and with e by some others. A has been variously described as central a and back. For simplicity, this article uses the diacriticless symbol a even in phonetic transcription. A is phonologically a back vowel because it patterns with other back vowels in harmonic processes and the alternation of adjacent consonants. See above. The vowel e plays the role as the front analog of a, i, y, u, e, o, but not o, a are lowered to o in environments variously described as final open syllable of a phrase and word final is described as a sound between i.e. central back near close by kilik and ogat. Vowel harmony With some exceptions, native Turkish words incorporate either exclusively back vowels, a, o, u, or exclusively front vowels, e, i, o, y, as, for example, in the words karenliktadalar they are in the dark and dusunselaliklarinden due to their thoughtfulness. o, o, only occur in the initial syllable. The Turkish vowel system can be considered as being three-dimensional, where vowels are characterized by three features, front, back, rounded, unrounded, and high, low, resulting in eight possible combinations, each corresponding to one Turkish vowel, as shown in the table. Vowel harmony of grammatical suffixes is realized through a chameleon-like quality, meaning that the vowels of suffixes change to harmonize with the vowel of the preceding syllable. According to the changeable vowel, there are two patterns. Twofold, e, tilde, a, frontality is preserved, that is, e, appears following a front vowel and a, appears following a back vowel. 
For example, the locative suffix is de after front vowels and da after back vowels. The notation de tu is shorthand for this pattern. Fourfold, i, tilde, y, tilde, tilde, u, both frontality and rounding are preserved. For example, the genitive suffix is in after unrounded front vowels, un after rounded front vowels, in after unrounded back vowels, and un after rounded back vowels. The notation in four can be this pattern's shorthand. The vowel, o, does not occur in grammatical suffixes. In the isolated case of o, in the verbal progressive suffix i4 your it is immutable, breaking the vowel harmony such as in uruer he, she, it is walking. Some examples illustrating the use of vowel harmony in Turkish with the copula dir4 he, she, it is Turkater it is Turkey with an apostrophe because Turkey is a proper noun Gunder it is the day Kapidir it is the door Paltother it is the coat compound words do not undergo vowel harmony in their constituent words as in bagoon today from bu this and gun day and baskant capital from ba prime and kent city unless it is specifically derived that way vowel harmony does not usually apply to loanwords and some invariant suffixes such as in ken while ing in the suffix e to bill may or can only the first vowel undergoes vowel harmony the suffix key belonging to is mostly invariant, except in the words bugunku today's and dunku yesterday's. There are a few native Turkish words that do not have vowel harmony such as an mother. In such words, suffixes harmonize with the final vowel as in anadir she is a mother. Suffixes added to foreign borrowings and proper nouns usually harmonize their vowel with the syllable immediately preceding the suffix, Amsterdamda in Amsterdam, Parisda in Paris. Consonantal effects In most words, consonants are neutral or transparent and have no effect on vowel harmony. In borrowed vocabulary, however, back vowel harmony can be interrupted by the presence of a front, i.e. coronal or labial consonant, and in rarer cases, front vowel harmony can be reversed by the presence of a back consonant. For example, Arabic and French loanwords containing back vowels may nevertheless end in a clear l instead of a velarized. Harmonizing suffixes added to such words contain front vowels. The table above gives some examples. Arabic loanwords ending in k usually take front vowel suffixes if the origin is kaf, but back vowel suffixes if the origin is kaf, e.g. idrak i perception acc, from adrak idrak versus fevki top acc, from fuk fawq. Loanwords ending in at derived from Arabic t marbuta take front vowel suffixes, e.g. sat e hour dat, from sat eset, sayahat e trip dat, from siat sayahat. Words ending in at derived from the Arabic feminine plural ending at or from devoicing of Arabic dal take the expected back vowel suffixes, e.g. adebiyat i literature acc, from adbiyat adabiyat, maxat, moxadi purpose, nam, and acc, from mqsd maxad. Front vowel suffixes are also used with many Arabic monosyllables containing a followed by two consonants, the second of which is a front consonant, e.g. harfi letter acc, harp, harbi war, nam, and acc. Some combinations of consonants give rise to vowel insertion, and in these cases the epithetic vowel may also be front vowel, e.g. vacat time and vakti time acc, from wakut waqt, fikr idea and fikri acc, from fikr fikr. There is a tendency to eliminate these exceptional consonantal effects and to apply vowel harmony more regularly, especially for frequent words and those whose foreign origin is not apparent. For example, the words rahat comfort and sanat art take back vowel suffixes, even though they derive from Arabic t-marbuta. <inaudible> <inaudible> Word accent Turkish words are said to have an accent on one syllable of the word. In most words the accent comes on the last syllable of the word, but there are some words, such as place names, foreign borrowings, words containing certain suffixes, and certain adverbs, where the accent comes earlier in the word. A phonetic study by Susanna Levi 2005 shows that when a word has non-final accent, e.g. ben mamik not to dip, the accented syllable is higher in pitch than the following ones, it may also have slightly greater intensity i.e. be louder than an unaccented syllable in the same position. 
In longer words, such as Sinerlin Myachectinis, you would not get angry. The syllables preceding the accent can also be high pitched. When the accent is final, as in Banmak, to dip, there is often a slight rise in pitch, but with some speakers there is no appreciable rise in pitch. The final syllable is also often more intense louder than the preceding one. Some scholars consider such words to be unaccented. Topic: <laughs> Stress or pitch. Although most treatments of Turkish refer to the word accent as stress, some scholars consider it a kind of pitch accent. Underhill 1986 writes, "Stress in Turkish is actually pitch accent rather than dynamic stress." An acoustic study by Susanna V. Levi 2005 agrees with this assessment, concluding that though duration and intensity of the accented syllable are significant, the most reliable cue to accent location is the pitch of the vowel. In its word accent, therefore, Turkish bears a great similarity with other pitch accent languages such as Japanese, Basque, and Serbo-Croatian. Similarly Oskalik 2016, noting the difference in phonetic realization between final and non-final accent, proposes that final accent in Turkish is not stress, but is formally a boundary tone. According to this analysis therefore, only words with non-final accent are accented, and all other words are accentless. However, not all researchers agree with this conclusion. Baris Kabak 2016 writes, finally stressed words do not behave like accentless words and there is no unequivocal evidence that the language has a pitch accent system. Pronunciation of the accent A non-final accent is generally pronounced with a relatively high pitch followed by a fall in pitch on the following syllable. The syllables preceding the accent may either be slightly lower than the accented syllable or on a plateau with it. In words like soskukul with a word, where the first and third syllable are louder than the second, it is nonetheless the second syllable which is considered to have the accent, because it is higher in pitch, and followed by a fall in pitch. However, the accent can disappear in certain circumstances, for example, when the word is the second part of a compound, e.g. koban salatasi shepherd salad, from salata, or litvanya lokantasi Lithuania n restaurant, from lokanta. In this case only the first word is accented. If the accented vowel is final, it is often slightly higher in pitch than the preceding syllable, but in some contexts or with some speakers there is no rise in pitch. <laughs> Intonational tones In addition to the accent on words, intonational tones can also be heard in Turkish. One of these is a rising boundary tone, which is a sharp rise in pitch frequently heard at the end of a phrase, especially on the last syllable of the topic of a sentence. The phrase ondan sonra after that, for example, is often pronounced with a rising boundary tone on the last syllable indicated here by an arrow. Another intonational tone, heard in yes-no questions, is a high tone or intonational pitch accent on the syllable before the particle mi, mu, e.g. Bu elmalar me. Are these apples fresh? This tone tends to be much higher in pitch than the normal word accent. A raised pitch is also used in Turkish to indicate focus, the word containing the important information being conveyed to the listener. Intonation may override lexical pitch in Turkish. Kabak 2016. Topic: <laughs> Final accent. As stated above, word final accent is the regular pattern in Turkish. Elma apple. Evler houses. When a non-pre-accenting suffix is added, the accent moves to the suffix. Elmalar apples. Evlerden from the houses. Among the suffixes which do not add any accent to the word are the possessive suffixes im, my, in, your, etc. Arkadislarım my friends. Kizlarımız our daughters. Non-final accent in Turkish words Non-final accent in Turkish words is generally caused by the addition of certain suffixes to the word. Some of these always of two syllables, such as iyor are accented themselves, others put an accent on the syllable which precedes them. 
Topic: <laughs> Accented suffixes. These include the following: Iyor, continuous, Gelior, he is coming, Geliordular, they were coming. Eric, Iraq by Gelorek by coming. Ince when Galinse when he comes. Iver suddenly, quickly, Gidaverichek he will quickly go. Note that since a focus word frequently precedes a verb, see below, causing any following accent to be neutralized. These accents on verbs can often not be heard. Topic: <laughs> Pre-accenting suffixes. Among the pre-accenting suffixes are. Me, ma, negative, e.g. korkma, don't be afraid, gelmedem, I did not come, but in the aorist tense the negative is stressed, sanmez, it will never cease. La, la, with, ofkali, with anger, angrily. Ce, ca, ish, turksha, turkish. Ki, makes adjectives to pronouns, benemki, my one, the following, though written separately, are pronounced as if part of the same word. Da, da, also, even, elmalar da, even apples. Me, mu, interrogative, elmalar me. Apples, less commonly found pre-accenting suffixes are lane during and sizen without, e.g. axamlian in the evening, gelmexazen without coming. Topic: <laughs> Copular suffixes. Suffixes meaning is or was added to nouns, adjectives or participles, and which act like a copula, are pre-accenting. Hastady, he, she, it was ill. Kokukler, they are children. Mustafadir, it's Mustafa. Ogrenchism, if I am a student. Copular suffixes are also pre-accenting when added to the following participles: future, e c e k, a c a k, aorist, er, or, an obligation, meli. Gidicek Tyler, they would go. Saklanerdenis, you used to hide yourself. Bullorum, I find. Gidirson, you go. Gitmaililer, they ought to go, it should be pointed out, however, that often at the end of a sentence the verb is unaccented, with all the syllables on the same pitch. Suffixes such as d and say, sa are not pre-accenting if they are added directly to the verb stem. Giddy, he, she, it went. Gitsi, if he goes, this accentual pattern can disambiguate homographic words containing possessive suffixes or the plural suffix. Benham, it's me, versus Benham, my. Kokukler, they are children, versus Kokukler, children. Topic: <laughs> Compounds. Compound nouns are usually accented on the first element only. Any accent on the second element is lost, just as in English compounds such as police station, where the second element has no accent. Basbacon, prime minister. Baskent capital city the same is true of compound and intensive adjectives Sutbias milk white Masmavi very blue some compounds however are accented on the final for example those of the form verb verb or subject verb Uyurgizer sleepwalker Hunkerbjendi lamb served on aubergine puree lit The sultan liked it remaining compounds have caesar type accent on whole word Compound numerals are accented like one word or separately depending on speaker. Topic: Other words with non-final accent. Certain adverbs take initial accent. Narid, where, narai, where to, nasal, how, hongi, which. Yaren tomorrow, sonra afterwards, simdi now, yain agan. Certain adverbs ending in n and have penultimate accent unless they end in a cretic ux rhythm, thus following the Caesar rule. See below. Ektisa den economically. Tekefalen by surety. Some kinship terms are irregularly accented on the first syllable. An mother, tays maternal aunt, hala paternal aunt, dei maternal uncle, amka paternal uncle, cards brother, sister, kain in law. Topic: <laughs> Two accents in the same word. When two pre-accenting suffixes are added to a word with a non-final accent, only the first accent is pronounced. Turkshada, Turkish also. Ankaradadi, he was in Ankara. However, the accent preceding the negative ma, me may take precedence over an earlier accent. 
Avrupalilasmali needing to become Europeanized Avrupalilasmamali needing not to become Europeanized in the following pair also, the accent shifts from the object to the position before the negative Ali iskambal oinadi Ali played cards Ali iskambal oinamadi Ali didn't play cards however, even the negative suffix accent may disappear if the focus is elsewhere. Thus in sentences of the kind, not A but B, the element B is focused, while A loses its accent. Kabak 2001 gives a pitch track of the following sentence, in which the only tone on the first word is a rising boundary tone on the last syllable lar. Yorulmuyorlar, eglaniorlardi they weren't getting tired, they were having fun. In the second word, eglaniorlardi, the highest pitch is on the syllable egg and the accent on the suffix iyor almost entirely disappears. Topic. Place names Place names usually follow a different accentual pattern, known in the linguistics literature as Caesar stress, after the discoverer of the pattern, engine Caesar. According to this rule, place names that have a heavy syllable CVC in the antepenultimate position, followed by a light syllable CV in penultimate position that is, those ending with a cretic, U, or dactylic, UU rhythm, have a fixed antepenultimate stress. Ankara, Marmaris, Mersamek, Iskenderun Serkechi, Torbali, Kayseri Most other place names have a fixed penultimate stress. Istanbul, Erzincan, Antalya, Edirne Adana, Yalova, Bakasik, Gareme, Izmir, Bodrum, Bebek, Konya. Sivasam exceptions to the Caesar stress rule have been noted sad face. A many foreign place names, as well as some Turkish names of foreign origin, have fixed penultimate stress, even when they have cretic rhythm. Africa, Ingleter, England, Mexica, Mexico, Belchica, Belgium, Avrupa, Europe, Almanya, Germany, Uskuder, Skatari, Bergama, Pergamon. Taran, Tehran, Misr, Egypt, Atina, Athens, but Moscova, Moscow, has Caesar stress. B names ending in iye have antepenultimate stress. Sultaniye, Ahmedia, Sulaymaniya, Fithai, C names ending in Hain, Istan, Lar, Mez, and some others have regular final unfixed stress. Hindistan, India, Bulgaristan, Bulgaria, Mogolistan, Mongolia, Yunanistan, Greece. Kagathain, Gumishain. Issachar, Soylemez, Anadolu, but also Anadolu, Sultanamet, Mimarsinan D names formed from common words which already have a fixed accent retain the accent in the same place. Sutlus from Sutlus Milky E compounds other than those listed above are generally accented on the first element. Fenerbahce, Gaziantep, Eskishahir, Kastamonu, Kanakale, Karamanmaras, Diyarbakir, Sambali. Kusadasi, Kandili Kadesi, Kandili Street, Karadanese, the Black Sea, Hagia Sophia, Hagia Sophia, F. Other exceptions: Kuleli, Kanali, Rumili. As with all other words, names which are accented on the penultimate or antepenultimate retain the stress in the same place even when pre-accenting suffixes are added, while those accented on the final syllable behave like other final accented words. Ankara greater than Ankaradan from Ankara greater than Ankaradan me. From Ankara, Issaklar greater than Issaklardan. From Issaklar greater than Issaklardan me. From Issaklar. Topic: Personal names. Turkish personal names, unlike place names, have final accent. Hussein, Ahmet, Abdurrahman, Mustafa, Eyes. When the speaker is calling someone by their name, the accent may sometimes move forward. Amit, Jel Baraya, Amit, come here. Ordinary words also have a different accent in the vocative. Ogretmenum. My teacher. Offendum, sir. Some surnames have non final stress. Erdogan, Erbakan, Anonu, Ataturk, compound. Others have regular stress. Pamuk, Hikmet. Foreign surnames tend to be accented on the penultimate syllable, whatever the accent in the original language. Kennedy, Papadopoulos, Vassington, Oedipus, Oedipus. Eisenhower, Eisenhower, Pitalemi, Ptolemy, Mendelssohn, Mendelssohn, Mandela. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Foreign words. Foreign words borrowed into Turkish tend to follow the Caesar rules. 
So words with a dactylic or cretic ending ux often have antepenultimate accent. Pensier window, Manzara scenery, Chevrolet Chevrolet, Cariola bed frame, but others the majority have penultimate accent. Locanta restaurant, Atoli workshop, Madalaya metal, Masa table. Canape couch, Cinema cinema, Manavela lever, Cicolata chocolate. Tornavita screwdriver, Facult college faculty, Jubile Jubilee gazette, newspaper. Canta bag, fabrica, factory, irregular with antepenultimate accent are negative, negative, ajaba, one wonders. However, some recent borrowings have the regular final accent. Photocopy, photocopy, istimbot, steamboat. The accent on these last is not fixed, but moves to the end when non-preaccenting suffixes are added, e.g., istimbotler, steamboats. However, words with non-final accent keep the accent in the same place, e.g., masalar, tables. Topic. Phrase accent The accent in phrases where one noun qualifies another is exactly the same as that of compound nouns. That is, the first noun usually retains its accent, and the second one loses it. Koban salatasi shepherd salad from Salata Litvanya Lokantasi Lithuania N restaurant from Lokanta Galata Kaprusa the Galata Bridge the same is true when an adjective or numeral qualifies a noun Kermizi Kanta the red bag from Kanta Use yil a hundred years the same is also true of prepositional phrases Kapiya Dagru towards the door Andan Sanara after that her zamanki gibi as on every occasion an indefinite object or focused definite object followed by a positive verb is also accented exactly like a compound with an accent on the object only not the verb telephone edeler they telephoned kopek besliorum i have lit feed a dog with deaccentuation of besliorum topic <laughs> focus accent Focus also plays a part in the accentuation of subject and verb. Thus in the first sentence below, the focus the important information which the speaker wishes to communicate is on a man, and only the first word has an accent while the verb is accentless, in the second sentence the focus is on came, which has the stronger accent Adam Geldy a man came Adam Geldi the man came when there are several elements in a Turkish sentence the focused word is often placed before the verb and has the strongest accent Ankaradan dun babam Geldi my father came from Ankara yesterday Babam Ankaradan dun Geldi my father came from Ankara yesterday for the same reason a question word such as kim who is placed immediately before the verb Bu soruyu kim kozicek who will solve this question Topic. See also Turkish alphabet Turkish grammar Topic. External links Forvo Pronouncing Dictionary of Turkish Words